the quadrangle of George Harriet S. Hospital, Edinburgh, built in the mid-17th century The history of schools in Scotland includes the development of all schools as institutions and buildings in Scotland, from the early Middle Ages to the present day. From the early Middle Ages there were bardic schools, that trained individuals in the poetic and musical arts. Monasteries served as major repositories of knowledge and education, often running schools. In the High Middle Ages, new sources of education arose including choir and grammar schools designed to train priests. Benedictine and Augustinian foundations probably had charitable almonry schools to educate young boys, who might enter the priesthood. By the end of the Middle Ages, grammar schools could be found in all the main burgs and some small towns. In rural areas there were petty or reading schools that provided an elementary education. Private tuition in the families of lords and wealthy burghers sometimes developed into household schools. Girls of noble families were taught in nunneries and by the end of the 15th century Edinburgh also had schools for girls, sometimes described as sewing schools. There is documentary evidence for about 100 schools of these different kinds before the Reformation. The growing humanist-inspired emphasis on education cumulated with the passing of the Education Act 1496. After the Protestant party became dominant in 1560, the first book of discipline set out a plan for a school in every parish, but this proved financially impossible. In the burghs the existing schools were largely maintained, with the song schools and a number of new foundations becoming reformed grammar schools or ordinary parish schools. Girls were only admitted to parish schools when there were insufficient numbers of boys to pay an adequate living for schoolmasters. In the lower ranks of society, girls benefited from the expansion of the parish school system that took place after the Reformation, but were usually outnumbered by boys and often taught separately, for a shorter time and to a lower level. Acts in 1616, 1633, 1646, and 1696 obliged local landowners, heritors, to provide a schoolhouse and pay a schoolmaster, known in Scotland as a domini, while ministers and local presbyteries oversaw the quality of the education. By the late 17th century there was a largely complete network of parish schools in the lowlands, but in the highlands basic education was still lacking in many areas. In the 18th century, wealth from the agricultural revolution led to a program of extensive rebuilding of schools. Many poorer girls were being taught in dame schools, informally set up by a widow or spinster to teach reading, sewing, and cooking. Literacy rates were lower in the highlands than in comparable lowland rural society, and despite these efforts illiteracy remained prevalent into the 19th century. With urbanization and population growth the Kirk established 214 assembly schools by 1865. There were also 120 sessional schools, mainly established by Kirk sessions in towns and aimed at the children of the poor. The disruption of 1843, which created the breakaway Free Church of Scotland, fragmented the Kirk school system. By May 1847 it was claimed that 500 schools had been built, along with two teacher training colleges and a ministerial training college. The influx of large numbers of Irish immigrants in the 19th century led to the establishment of Catholic schools. Attempts to supplement the parish system included Sunday schools, mission schools, ragged schools, Bible societies, and improvement classes. The ragged school movement attempted to provide free education to destitute children. Andrew Bell pioneered the Monito Real system, which developed into the pupil-teacher system of training. In contrast David Stowe, advocated the Glasgow method, which centered on trained adult teachers. Scottish schoolmasters gained a reputation for strictness and frequent use of the TOS. The 1872 Education, Scotland, Act created approximately 1,000 regional school boards, which immediately took over the schools of the Old and New Kirks. The emphasis on a set number of passes at exams also led to much learning by rote and the system of inspection led to even the weakest children being drilled with certain facts. The 1918 Education, Scotland, 
Act introduced the principle of universal free secondary education. Most of the advanced divisions of the primary schools became junior secondaries, while the old academies and higher grade schools became senior secondaries. Increasing numbers stayed on beyond elementary education and the leaving age was eventually raised to 16 in 1973. As a result, secondary education was the major area of growth, particularly for girls. In the 1980s the curriculum was reformed to take account of the whole range of abilities. Gender differences disappeared as girls' attainment caught up with boys in the early 1980s.